Hiya, yep, welcome back, and you've just joined us in time for round two of our gut barging competition. Yay! Kerry. Yay! Look at that. We've even got a sexy girl as well. Whoa. If you missed round one, then shame on you. But you cheated, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that was real mean. That wasn't very mean. Be mean. I do the speaks. All oh, right, well, we'll come over here then. Yeah, it was a technical infringement, and uh, I'll take it out of his wages later. OK, in other words, he used his arms. That's yeah, what happened. It's, it's, it's what are you going to show us now? We're going to demonstrate a very sophisticated move, a side-glancing move called the Bernie Bye-Bye. It takes years to perfect this. Right. It's, it's, it's ex it, but because we're both oiled up, it's, yes. it's like two bars of soap. Whoosh. Gone. I can't Quintus, wait. Quintus hand we just had a lovely close up of that, you know. I know, pets. Oh, I it's know. Pets. Fab. Right, I'll get out of the way for fear of being right. knocked over. I'll go over here. Got some. Oh, no. Bye bye. That was, it was very quick. You were right, <laughs> actually. Okay, what else, can, what else can we do? We can, have the, we, can, <laughs> we can have the shunt or full blubber. The what? The shunt or full blubber. The, sh the shunt is sort of a southern term. The full blubber is people can like you know, Liverpool and Manchester. Can we have you some know? Full, full blubber? I like that. All right. We'll have, uh, this, is just, this is basically, we've, we've got a mat here, 12 foot by 8, it's a dividing line. It's a bit like a tennis court, but small. Okay. And it's just sheer force and persistence. <laughs> Guts only. <laughs> All right, come does on, boy. Does like, the size <laughs> of your gut matter? Yeah, well, it does help. Oh, you're slipping, be careful. Oh, round oh, one. Way to go, way to go. And that. Hey, you pussy, you pussy. <laughs> please, boys, please. And that is why they call you the gut father. Yeah, yeah, boys, yeah. Boys, thanks I ever know, so I'm much. bigger than everybody else, aren't I? I'm not it's saying anything. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for coming on the show. It's been great fun. You've been great sports. But uh, listen, if you've ever think, uh, thought about having an affair, then Terry knows just the man who can help you out, don't you, Terry? Right, yes, yeah, certainly. I, I was actually going to say uh, what I shouldn't then, but never mind. <laughs> uh, yes, this is the man, Ronnie Brock. Ronnie Brock, who's uh, set up an alibi agency. So if you're ever up to anything naughty and you need an excuse for the missus, he's the man to supply it. That's right. Uh, I mean, how did it come about? It was, originally it was done as a PR stunt, um, and then it just completely took off, and so I decided to buy the company. And um, we, we've got lots of people around the world using the agency. We've got up to now got 16,000 members, and uh, 138,000 hits up to yesterday. I mean, I'm talking over the weekend, the hits. So we've got 16,000 members, and I would think maybe another 40,000 uh, letterheads out at the moment for disclaimers and that, to, you know, to sign. I mean, that, that's big business. I mean, it's £20 a time, isn't oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, £15 each time you then supply the... £20 to join, £15 each time you supply an alibi. Um, I mean, what kind of things will you do? I mean, let's, let's say I, I want to go off with, uh, I don't know, you know, let's say Miss World's in town. Do you? And I don't want to, <laughs> you know, I, I, want, I want an excuse to be out all night. Well, what would you do? Yeah, we'd have to, first of all, you'd have to join. You'd have to download the contract and then join. All and right, forget about it. All right, right. pay me money. <coughs> You've I've got done a that. We'd have to know what kind of work you did to fit uh -huh. in to actually convince your, your wife that uh, you're going out on a business, you know, on a job. So we'd have to do something that would be suitable for you that wouldn't actually let her find out what you were up to. Something like, I mean, you're a TV presenter, so we say something like you're going to present something in Luxembourg or something, you know. Whatever you wanted, we'd do for you. And we, we covered up the deceits and lies and just make sure that, that you had a good bit of fun, you know. That's what we're here for. So you're providing a service, aren't you? Oh, Christ, yeah. It's a very classy service as well. But where did you come up with the idea? Because everybody's really cheating, you know. I mean, the, I mean it's not just kangaroos that jump in Australia. I mean, the, the whole of Australia's jumping. We've got, uh, I think it's something like 20,000 clients from over there. Mm. Any famous people that have gone with you? We have, well, we have a couple of people that we know. I mean, can't remember the names at this moment, actually. Mm. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, you know, couldn't you kind of, what do you call it, you know, spill the beans on them one day? You've got files that thick on <laughs> everyone. Uh, no, because I don't have the disc. Um, the disc is with somebody. I mean, obviously, we have a master disc of, of everyone, you know, so we know everything that's going on, but we'd never... No, we're not going to do that. I mean, we wouldn't be alive for very long, would we? Mm. Has anybody been caught, though, despite having the alibi agency behind them? No, they've not been caught yet, but <clears throat> everybody in the world now knows about it, and they think that if the husband's away for a night, that he's used our bloody agency. We can't <laughs> get away with it, you know. <laughs> so everybody thinks that the agency's being used by people who aren't even using it. OK, well, let's see some examples now. Oh, right, so that, that was a story. I didn't get it at all, it just <laughs> flitted right past me, but I'm sure it worked very well. It looked good from this side, actually, yeah. 
We've always said that uh, if you want to swing, give us a ring. That's what we're here for. <laughs> that what yeah. I mean, you, you did actually say that 40% of your clients are women. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of blokes are going to be going <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's business ladies and people. I mean, it's just people who want to have a good time. I mean, we're protecting the public. That's what we're doing. That's our job, to protect the public. From themselves? No, I mean, what, look, what happens if we say a man sees a nice young girl, you know, and he falls madly in love with her, it might last a couple of weeks. But what happens if he pours his heart out and he, his wife finds out and his children, he breaks the whole marriage up. What we're trying to do is keep it together. Now, if, if, we, con if we actually do the deceit for him and his wife never finds out, nobody gets hurt. So we are protecting the public. Do you know, you're such a saint. Hey, there you go. Listen, thanks a lot and good luck with it, Ronnie. I don't think you need it because that, that, that's, that's a business that is never going to die. OK, now to our new game show. It's replaced uh, Booby Right, Booby Left. It's called Twin Peaks. Indeed, it is bikini time, or Twin Peaks, as we like to call it. Even Binky's joining in here. Okay, very quickly, twins, blue bikini, yellow bikini, they go down water slides, and who's going to come first? Blue or yellow? Yellow. Blue, blue, blue. Yellow. Yeah, I'm blue. Blue. Oh. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, I think it might be even Stevens. I've done you. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Oh, I think blue. I'll go blue. Is it blue? Let's take a look. Because you've got to see both girls jump up and down. What do you think of our game? It was a steal. <laughs> it was definitely yellow. Definitely I had money on that. I'll tell you what, I didn't know what was going to happen because I had a business meeting in Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> I Is thought that you were in Luxembourg with your boyfriend. That's what he just told me. <laughs> that is it from us this evening. Thanks ever so much to Binky and Fred. They've been great. Thanks to the boys. You're going to play. Is that what you're playing? I want your sex. OK. Hey. Good night. <laughs> One, two, three. The things that you guess and the things that you know There's girls you can trust and there's boys that you don't You say that you love me and I know for sure Sometimes you think you got it but I'm still you want more Won't tell you no business, won't give you no lies Don't need no more Bible, just look in my eyes The sex on my body, the sex on your mind but sex is just one thing I want to confide I want your I want your sex I want your sex Surprise. 